All right, Jess is back, and Jess, at this point, uh, Santa's moving so quickly around the world. Yeah. He might beat the storm here in Maine. Exactly, yeah, he's cruising, Clay, and of course, we have some recent video of Santa just now. Let's take a look at where he was just spotted. Let me get out of the way so we can see. You might recognize this spot. There's a Statue of Liberty. He was recently in New York City. He's cruising. He was just in D.C. a few minutes ago, uh, dropping off all these presents. I think at last check, he's dropped over five trillion presents. I think that's what I heard. So some pretty impressive stuff. I mean, he's still going and we'll uh, check on him again once we talk about the weather here. All right. Let's start. We'll talk about this Christmas Day storm. We've been actually talking about this for about a week now. Unfortunately, it's coming true. We were hoping things would change over the last week, but not the case. We'll see an inch or two of rain. Some of us up to two and a half or even three inches of rain in the higher elevations. Uh, tomorrow morning, we could have wind gusts that knock out power, unfortunately. So something to be aware of as you make your Christmas plans for tomorrow. A lot of snow melting because of these temperatures. It's very warm and so we'll have concerns about flooding too. Most of us tonight are in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Wouldn't be 2020 without some 50s at night in December in Maine. Some showers starting to move in now. We'll continue to see those rain showers increase overnight tonight. Some very heavy rainfall though on the way once we get into tomorrow morning. Again, this is moving to our area and it's going to move pretty slowly, unfortunately. So that's where we can see those heavy rainfall totals. Winds now gusting 30 to 40 miles an hour, pretty much right on track with this. I think by about the middle of the morning tomorrow, we'll start to see those highest wind gusts and they are going to be very strong, gusting as high as 60 to 65 miles an hour close to the coast. But for the rest of the night tonight, for Santa's travels, the winds just keep increasing and those temperatures will be right around 50. Of course, it's not going to affect him at all, so that's good news. Rain continues as we go overnight tonight. You can see once we get into tomorrow afternoon, a heavy rain band will move through the state. It will continue right through the evening hours too, making it to Bangor in the late, uh, excuse me, in the early afternoon and continuing through the night. Finally, things start to wrap up in Portland once we get into tomorrow night. The weekend doesn't look too bad, much cooler though, both Saturday and Sunday with high temperatures only in the low 30s. As far as these winds go, though, I don't like it. You can see by early tomorrow morning, we'll start to see those wind gusts increase quite a bit and then going through about the middle of the morning tomorrow still could gust 50 to 55 miles an hour, especially closest to the coast, but can't rule out some 50 to 55 mile an hour gusts in Bangor too. We could see a stray 60 mile an hour gust. Not great. Once we get into the late afternoon, things start to wrap up and we will quiet down quite a bit. But again, closest to the coast, including uh, Bangor, back to about Bangor will be where those highest wind gusts are. Here's a marine forecast for tomorrow. Seas 11 to 15 feet tomorrow morning, 14 to 18 feet tomorrow afternoon. Winds will gust up to 55 knots. Pretty intense stuff there. Rainy and windy really throughout the entire day. We'll clear out though. You can see the weekend looks nice. Low to mid 30s with some sunshine as we head into Saturday afternoon. Sunday looks nice and bright. Temperatures warm up a little bit more for Monday. It'll be mostly cloudy. We might as well check on Santa again. Like I said, he is flying, literally flying. He's moving so quickly. This is actually video from, he's getting closer. This is video from air station uh, at Cape Cod. I think they were trying to spot him and I think you can see him off in the distance there. At least you can see Rudolph's nose. Uh, so Santa's getting pretty close. Got to get in bed here pretty soon so I can get my presents, Clay. Yeah, <laughs> you should. we should be in bed relatively soon now. Yeah. If you can't spot him, that wouldn't be I good. I know. All right, Jess, awful. thank you.